Hello on for a day one and two recap of Ultimatum League, or I like to call it Disconnect League. Um, pretty much, I'm gonna probably do the videos every other day just because work. I'm only I'm playing only a couple hours a day. Like today, I only play about two hours. Um, day one was a mess. Like everyone already knows about the whole disconnect problem. For the four hours we played, we got to Act Two. That's how much of a mess it was. And then this morning it was fixed. I pushed all the way to um, ba -ba -ba -ba, Act Six, like I wanted to yesterday. And then this morning I only pushed, or tonight I only pushed to Act Eight, which is not where I wanted to be. I just way too tired to keep going. So I'll probably keep pushing this tomorrow up farther. But pretty much it's the dominating blow build that we're playing. This is the one that Vaughn did as his league start last league. So the build's extremely cheap, extremely friendly. It's just, actually I'll go back to here. It's easier to show, a lot less lag. Like we have our end game boots. We're gonna use Rainbow Stride just cause it gives you block and ES and movement speed, resistance. Um, for leveling, Brightbeak and Victorias do help for leveling purposes. Eventually, I want to change this to the Scourge whenever that comes online. It's not super expensive. And then eventually, we'll switch over to a um, Cast One Socketed uh, Weapon late game. Maybe like another week or two when we get currency in. This was the first 5 link I found, so that's why I'm using it. It works. 5 link, we're using Dominating Blow, Minion Damage, Multi Strike. And it's Astral Call because we don't have the Hunter Gloves that give you the additional um, strike chance, I think. And Brutality. And it's an Impale also. Because like once we get the Gloves, we drop Ancestral Call. And then we can throw in... Uh, which one was it? Melee Fizz. So there's a lot of damage missing. It's just you need the um, uh, Ancestral Call to proc the uh, Dominate Blow. Because Downy Blow works whenever you hit, kill an enemy, that's when it summons them. Or um, if you hit a unique monster, you have 25% chance to summon a normal one. Which is the combination with the Withering Jar. Because pretty much you... I don't know if it's going to work in here. Throw your jar out, get the worms, and then you just kill the worms. And you make your guys. This is pretty much what you do against bosses. You'll do this to start, and then you hit the boss and create more. That's pretty much the way of going around bosses, pretty much. And it does work very well. It's just you need level 60. It take, took a while. Uh, shitty belts, shitty gloves. It's just life resistance. Even though we're so far over resistant, like over like 170. So we definitely don't need the resistance on any of the gear. We Mainly dexterity is our biggest struggle right now. Because you need as much dex as you can. Like eventually I need to get two rings that both have over 50 decks on them, which is not gonna be fun to get. Like chess piece, eventual upgrade to skin lords, even tabula, just a six link, be honest. Helm will be a uh, memory vault, but those are 100 chaos right now. So we're gonna wait for those to go down. And also I only have eight chaos. Uh, the shields, like one X, the one we actually need. Um, the gloves don't exist yet. The belt's torment spell, which doesn't exist right now. That's going to be expensive when it comes online. Ne uh, necklace will be cheap. It's just you need to corrupt the correct corruption on it. It's pretty much a like crappy gear. Like I'm using precision, dread banner, generosity. So that uh, dread banner and precision go to our minions. Assassin mark just for the cursing. Conviction just to put your enemies towards you with pride for, and flesh offering. Uh, you, where is you at? I'm using Herald of, I was using Herald of Purity to level. It definitely does help leveling. I, it's going to eventually be dropped from the build. It's just right now it definitely does help out leveling to make your life a whole lot easier. And also while leveling from Act 1 through 3, I think I was using Flame Toad, or until I got the uh, Down and Blow from Library. No, not Library. You get before Library, but you need to wait until Library to get um, some of the other stuff that does help. Like your minion damage or impale, all that from the library. So pretty much up to then, I was just using um, Holy Flame Totem and Firewall. And it was absolutely de de uh, demolishing everything. No problem whatsoever with ultimatums. It's just the combo was so strong. Because when you're leveling, 
you want to actually go this way first. Get around here. Get to here. Get your life. Uh, go get this. Get these two. And after you get this, you pretty much will be strong enough to kill everything and just get your life. Um, and eventually you get your minion damage. You don't need this until you start switching over. You can level with uh, Raging Spirit and Zombies and all that, but I think the totem is much faster. Uh, then you pretty much just shoot this way. Your block, get a lot of resistance in your block too. Life. We're going to eventually go CI. And when we go CI, that's when we're going to respect all the life points off. Uh, all four of these points off. We're keeping this one now just because it gives you minion damage. Like, all four of those will go. These uh, seven points left back. And, like, eventually we'll get, like, um, Blue Nightmare. We'll go here for more block. Eventually when we go CI, we'll get Zealous Oath. These two points I took just to get some life. These two points will get respected, too, when we go CI. Um, minion damage, which you do need. Going this way, minion damage. Eventually, we'll get this as Watcher's Eye late game. Uh, then from here, I actually shot up this way to get damage because you definitely do need damage with this build. And then I shot for the life pretty quick, just to get some extra life in. Like eventually, this will be um, healthy mine. I think it's called the one that converts uh, life nodes into more mana. Like eventually, we'll go get these two for more mana regen. Uh, more block over here in mana. Uh, right now, and then like more life over here. Uh, and right now I'm going for mana regen, because you definitely do need mana regen with this build. Because you only have this much mana, if you're using the fork set, set I have. Like, we don't need to go ES until CI, so we're going to probably push this way. Or probably get these two, just for more uh, minions defense. Because it will help our minions out the most. Keep alive. Push this way. We could get this while leveling. Just for more life. But you probably don't need it. Like down here would be. Um, replica. Shit. It's the uh, Scion one that gives you. Whatever your starting classes. Depending on different stats. Pure Talent I think it's called. It's the one that gives you block with Templar. Like, eventually, we're going to get the Cluster Jewel, CI, probably get these points here. Because when we go over Cluster, I have the base, I found one. You need a minimum with level 50 or higher. Because um, you need Renewal, Rod and Claws, and Call to Slaughter. Which is not the easiest combo to get. But if you can get, because uh, Harvest, I usually around 60, so I don't think this isn't going to work. We'll probably end up selling for 10C and just buy a new base. That's like around 70 something, so we can harvest it. Because you can just slam speed on it. Or get your two um, ba -ba 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 -ba, prefixes and just do a key prefix, reroll suffix over and over until you eventually get it. But pretty much from there, like eventually we're going to get the um, the clusters that give you determination, reduce man uh, mana reserve. Like Desecrate, Vitality is leveling up. MA Guardian you definitely don't need until super late game, so. I'll Really have no interest in doing this right now. Melee Splash and like Melee Fizz will both switch in and out for bossing. Probably for mapping, we'll probably put Melee Splash in. For bossing, we'll probably put Melee uh, Fizz in. And Determination for more armor, because eventually we'll be max armor in this game. Because right now we're only at 26%, because we don't have Determination on and all that kind of stuff. And we're missing a lot of our gear. Uh, yeah, because right now we're at 30% block, 14 spell block. We should be around 60 of each of them, I think, by the time we're done. I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. Um, bandits kill all. You need two scale points, since you're a minion build. Uh, for labs, I've only done the first two so far. Uh, pretty much lab one, you want this one from resistance, onslaught, more damage. And then lab two is, uh, give your... Um, near my allies, more attack speed, movement speed, AOE, intimidate, and unnerve. So it's really good. And then lab three, I think, is going to be this one. So that near my enemies cannot gain the charges. So then um, all the charges are split between all the minions. With a 20% chance to gain charge on hit. 
And then our last one will probably end up being Hope. Just because it gives you a lot of block. Cannot be stunned if you've already blocked recently. It's good overall. These are probably the best. You could, instead of uh, Purpose, if you want to get Time of Need, you can definitely go this route. Just to reduce the effect of Curses on you. And for Life Regen, but this is probably better overall, just so near, uh, enemies can't gain uh, charges, especially with this league. Because uh, you don't need... You don't really need these two. But yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. It's a quick uh, video. We're only in Act 8, so we're not even that far right now, anyway. There's still a lot of stuff we need to do. Like, right now, I'm just trying to get anything. Because right now, we don't have much. I uh, don't know what this tab is here for. Throw you in the blank section. I'm trying to think. Yeah, right on the saving gem for GCP, software chaos. Uh, nothing good dropped so far. Best thing that dropped was a Vitality for 3C. And that's actually it. Nothing else so far. Yeah, so there's no... I can't really show the build off right now just because there's nothing to really show. Unless we do like this, I guess. But I'm way over level, so it's gonna be a little hard to see. But pretty much the build is go in, blow your worms, kill them, and then just start attacking. Because once you get everything going, you can definitely just start rushing, hit a couple things, uh, bring all the minions towards you, and just go. We could do one of these two. Like ultimanians with this build as of right now are not easy to do. We've died a lot to these. Uh just keep going. More fun that way. And I'll put POB in the description below also. Well once the minions start going, you can definitely do these pretty easily. Done. 2C. Usually, anytime I see 2C as an early league, I'll just end up uh, taking it and leaving. Because I have randomly filled these before without even realizing how. But yeah, that's pretty much the build so far. It's definitely going to get better when we get more gear and everything going. It's just right now I don't have the gear going. I don't have much to show. Because ne the next video we should be in maps. So I can definitely show off more. It's just there's not a whole lot to show as of right now. Because once I do a revamp of the, gear, uh, the character too, it'll definitely be much better. That's actually an upgrade. I'm surprised. Fate is fine. I'm at 10C now. So you could probably buy one of the rings. But that's going to be it for uh, this video. If you like what you see, subscribe down below. You can follow me on Twitch. Uh, let me know how your league start went. If you're whatever build you're playing. Not including the day one mess. That was quite shit storm. But hopefully by tomorrow. Um, we get farther through this. It's just right now. A little bit behind what I wanted to be. It's just I got sick. So motivation for right now playing today is not the best. But day one and two recap is done. And day three and four. Well, three and four will be interesting. Depending on how I do it. Because the 20th we're going to have a lot of time to play. But we'll see how it goes. Thank you for coming out to it. And I'll see you in the next one.